Are you interested in investing in real estate? Let me show you how I turned 25,000 into $100,000. I'm super excited to share this with you today because so many of the conversations that I have are about people that want to invest in real estate and so many times they don't know where to start. Keep in mind there are so many ways to invest in real estate, but I'm going to share with you one thing that I actually did that you can put into place. Before I jump in, I just want you to remember that my results may not always be typical. So make sure you confide in your local CPA, accountant, tax attorney, or anybody on your side to make sure you're getting the best advice before you jump in. All right, let's dive into it. So it all started, I bought this home. It is located in Northern Arizona and I bought it basically for my family to use part-time and rent out the other part of the time. Um, but what we came to find out that is that we really didn't get up and use it too much. So I bought it, I took $25,000 of my own money, purchased this home, ended up running it as an Airbnb, uh, which was awesome. I owned it for two years, basically cash flowed enough over those two years to where it really didn't cost me too much more of my own money to maintain this. Um, but if you've ever gotten into the Airbnb business and I can actually talk about it on a future video, uh, it's just like running a hotel. So you have people in and out. Most of the time it's absolutely fantastic, but keep in mind, like I said, you have people checking in, checking out, there's a lot of movement. So there's, it's a lot, it's a lot more difficult than I think a lot of people realize. So like I said, I own this home for about two years and I really just got sick of the minutia and having to check people in, check people out, linens and that kind of stuff. So I said, you know what, I'm going to sell this property and move it into a more traditional 12 month rental. So something that somebody could rent, bring their own furniture and everything like that. Uh, so I actually put the home up for sale, uh, sold it, and I used what's called a 1031 exchange, which is a tax, basically a way to defer taxes. So when you sell the home in an investment property and purchase a new one, you're not paying any taxes upfront in that transaction. But I can get into the nuances of kind of what a 1031 exchange is in a future video. Hey, if you are watching this video and you're interested in real estate investing, I've got your back. Shoot me a text message at 480-498-3334. But after all was said and done, after all my real estate fees and everything, I walked away with about $85,000. So it all started with a $25,000 investment with basically running an Airbnb that basically cash flowed the whole time. So not a lot of other money out of pocket. And at the end, after all was said and done, sold that home after owning it for about two years for $85,000. So after I sold the home up north, had that thing up on the market in escrow, I have that $85,000. The next step, I actually got pre-approved for a mortgage. So don't forget that step if you are not getting enough money from the sale to purchase the next home outright. Get with a great mortgage lender that deals with investment properties. I did that. Uh, I know at the time of this video, interest rates are a really hot topic no one loves the high rate so just to let you know personally my interest rate on the investment property i'm about to tell you about was a 7.625 percent interest rate so here it is i bought this home it is a three bedroom two bath home with a den uh, it was a pre foreclosure there are not a lot of those out there right now but regardless, I got a great deal on this property. Uh, I bought it for about a little under 330,000. Uh, you can basically guess to venture that it wasn't in fantastic condition. So I'm turning this into a rental. So I definitely needed to do some things to it. 
Uh, I actually spent about $15,000 uh, for new carpet, new paint. I actually turned a den into a fourth bedroom. So I took this three bedroom, two bathroom home, turned it into a four bedroom just so I could ask a little bit more for market rent. Uh, and then kind of how I got the math that I shared up front, how I turned basically 25,000 into 100 is that after my renovations, uh, the market value of this home is right at about $360,000 conservatively. So this just gives you a fantastic idea from start to finish how you can take a little bit of money and actually own a property uh, invest it and then turn that money into another property and you can keep doing this over and over and over again so definitely a lot of ways you could turn twenty five thousand. and maybe on a future video i'll do a video on how i made took this twenty five thousand and made it into five hundred thousand. after watching this video are you interested in doing the same thing that i did are you ready to invest in real estate? Reach out to me. Let's set up a time to talk so I can find out what your investment goals are. I can put you in touch with my team, see if the numbers work and see if we can get your 25,000 turn into 100,000 just like I did. Hopefully you're getting a lot of value out of this video and all of the others on our channel. Do me a favor, subscribe here so you'll get all of the alerts when we post our new videos and i also really think you should check out this video as well